A common problem we hear about large language models all the time is that a certain model is now worse in quality, right? Like an updated model. So, you know, we've heard this a lot actually about GPT-4.0. So instead, I think a lot of times it's actually about the prompt itself or the prompt methodology. Uh, so we're going to take a look at a simple way to compare GPT-4.0 versus GPT-4.0. Turbo. All right, let's jump in and take a look. So if you're new here, let me tell you what this is. My name is Jordan Wilson. I run Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping people like you and me learn and leverage generative AI. So we do an AI in five, which is a five minute tip tutorial or trick. So that's what we got going today. So here's what you need to know. This is actually super simple. If you've never been in the open AI playground before, uh, this is what it is. So you just need to go to platform.openai.com, sign in with your open AI credentials. And this is, um, very easy to use and it's actually very powerful. So, uh, by default, you're not going to see this comparison, right? Uh, so let's actually just click around here. So this is what you're going to see to begin with. Uh, you, you know, this is just a playground, uh, essentially a sandbox, right? Uh, so all you actually have to do and a lot of people don't even know this is just click compare and then you can run the exact same uh prompt in the same uh or in different models at the same time so as an example let's go ahead and put gpt4 turbo on the left and let's put gpt4 o on the right all right and then there's other uh examples of what we can do and let's just uh i'll show you first but we're going to start with a very uh simple i guess prompt right so i'm saying please create a detailed seo outline for a blog post about the top five places to visit in Chicago. All right. So you'll see that GPT-4 Turbo is obviously much faster. All right. This is with nothing else on top. This is just out uh, out of the, the gate, so to speak. All right. So you can kind of compare. I'm going to go ahead and uh, collapse this so we can get a little bit better of a look. Oh, I thought you could collapse. I guess you can. All right. So you'll see here that GPT-4 Turbo was much faster. So you get the exact output, um, you, you know, in these cases. So the title here is top five places to visit in Chicago for GPT-4.0. And then the one on the left says explore the Windy City, top five most must visit places in Chicago. So, you know, hey, you might think that GPT-4 Turbos is better. It's a little more engaging, right? But Actually, no. If you want an SEO uh, optimized blog post, the one on the right is actually much better, right? Because uh, if I'm optimizing for the top five places to visit in Chicago, that's probably what I want my H1 tag. And I want that in my heading. I want that in my H1. I want that in my metadata, right? So technically, even though GPT-4 GPT Turbo might sound like a little bit better uh, on the right, the headline's better. So uh, you can go through and read this. The, the, the point of this is not to necessarily, uh, you know, look at everything line by line, but you saw right here, this is a super simple way uh, to use the playground to just evaluate the output from different versions of GPT at the same time. So another thing that you can do, and we'll try running the exact same prompt again. So let's go ahead and clear the chat. All right. Cause we don't want anything kind of in the memory there. Uh, so now what we're going to do is, is there's, um, settings that you can use, right? So if you've never used the playground before, uh, these are actually super fun to use. So all we're going to do is we're going to, uh, turn the temperature, um, and let's go, let's go up. All right. So by making, uh, by taking the temperature to two, uh, we're probably going to get much more random, uh, or creative, uh, outputs. Whereas if we lowered it to like zero, that's when the model becomes almost deterministic. Right. And that's when it literally just becomes a next token predictor. Uh, you, you know, we're not going to get the top P and all that other stuff in this video. So now we have each of them, we're going to set each of them to two, right? Uh, so by default, uh, you sync it to both models. So if you wanted to test it differently, you can unclick that. But right now, uh, we're going to have two on each. Let's go ahead and run the exact same prompt. So uh, in theory, uh, what would happen here? Oh, looks like we had some errors. That's all right. Happens in the playground a lot. There we go. So now, you know, we're getting some gibberish, right? Uh, probably, I probably shouldn't have cranked the temperature all the way up to two. Let's just do an example here. Let's go ahead and put it uh, let's just put it at like 1.3. Let's try that. Make sure it's there. Let's go ahead and clear the chat, clear the chat. Uh, so now at about 1.3, presumably we're actually going to get uh, a detailed blog post, but it's going to be uh, presumably a little more uh, creative. Uh, temperature is kind of hard to, to explain here, but um, 
you know, so again, side by side, let's, let's go ahead and uh, do something else that maybe is a little easier to judge, right? So the whole point here is uh, trying to kind of have a good gauge um, of comparing two models. So let's just go ahead and take the temperature back down to one, uh, which is the default. And now I'm saying describe the key features and benefits of electric cars. And you see on the right, Geez, I mean, GPT-4.0 is just super fast, right? Um, so I'm saying describe the key features and benefits of electric cars in a way that is easy to understand for someone new to the topic. All right, so you'll see comparing them left and right. Uh, all right, so as an example, GPT-4 Turbo didn't even mention the fact that it is an electric motor as one of the sub points, right? It instead said zero emissions, cost effective, quiet and smooth operation, et cetera. But I don't know if I want to explain the key features and benefits of an electric car to someone that doesn't know anything, you probably want to start with the fact that it is an electric motor. So yeah, so much of this I know is subjective comparing output side by side. I get that. So now let's try one more thing. We'll try a little bit of a of a brain teaser, right? So there's certain things that large language models always get wrong. Um, Whoops, let's go ahead and clear the chat, clear the chat. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm saying yesterday I ended the day with three apples and two bananas. Today I ate one apple and had to throw one banana away because it got bad. How many apples and bananas do I have left to eat? So presumably the right answer is two apples and one banana, but let's see what reasoning or rationale or if it even gets it right. All right, so it looks like it got it right. Uh, so GPT-4.0 got it right, said uh, two apples, one banana. Uh, and there we go, two apples and one banana here. So the difference, at least in this. And again, you have to remember, large language models are generative. You can run the same thing 50 times and get 40 different answers, right? Uh, depending on what your temperature set at. But uh, you'll see here, just like there's nuances, right? Uh, there's nuances in the way that GPT-4.0 works versus GPT-4 Turbo. So, uh, you know, we're not concluding anything. I just wanted you all uh, to kind of get a, a look at a way that you can do this. So you can also do it one other way. So let me just go ahead and show you that as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and run that exact same prompt. So now I'm just in the chat GPT interface, right? Uh, so if you have uh, the plus version of chat GPT, there's actually a model selector down here, right? Um, so, okay, interesting. It took it took a very a similar or different, well, kind of similar, kind of different approach uh, here in the chat GPT interface. So uh, what you can do is also click change model right here. And now I'm going to go to uh, GPT-4, all right? And then it's going to rerun that same generation, right? And you can see it's much slower, much slower. Uh, both both got it right, but then the thing that I like is then you can just toggle between the two down there at the bottom. All right, so that's it. Just showed you two different ways that you can uh, evaluate models side by side. Super simple stuff, but I noticed that not a lot of people know that. All right, I hope this was helpful. If so, let me know in the comments. Please subscribe to this channel, but go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for that free daily newsletter, and I'll see you back for another AI in 5. Thanks, y'all.